Today we're going to show you how to replace and take apart certain uh, parts on a gateway. And the gateway on this, this gateway model is ZX4300. And this is how you take it apart. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to replace, take apart by take, replacing these two screws right here. You can just, yeah, you can see it. These two screws goes out. And to take these apart, you just have to pry it. You use a flathead screwdriver. The next step after replacing these two screws, you will go ahead and start peeling off these areas here. You kind of pry this open using these here. First pry open the first one and you start prying this open and it slowly, you have to slowly doing this and it will take apart this piece. The next step you have to do is just have to take this apart. To take this apart there's, there's two screws here and two here. I have already replaced these two, took this, this out already and you take this out by remove, using the, this screwdriver. <coughs> so you take this apart and when you take all the screws out you can just lift it and this goes out. Okay, And then that's the next step. Then this is the hard part. You need to use a Phillips screwdriver and some prying device which is the, uh, the gateway pr um, case prying tool and you would then start slowly seeing the edge. You can see the edge here. You have to be very careful and these edges you have to slowly snap it apart. You see? Snap this apart by going through these here Okay, and then using this you can start prying this open. You see? This is a tricky one. <clears throat> so you pry this open. Be careful on this one. You can break this piece here. So you have to be very careful. And from here and this side you can have to slowly lift this and then Lift this up here. Okay, let's film this way. <coughs> you hear that? Can you see it, man? See it? Just gotta pry this open. See it? Be careful this area here. Be careful this area here. When you break this apart by going through all of this area, you gotta take be careful on this screw here. You take this one apart, slowly pull this off, and this whole thing will come off. Okay, so <clears throat> now that you got this thing apart, there are a few components in here I want to show you. The first thing is the CROM. This is the inverter board for the LCD. The LCD is in back there. The LCD is the hardest part to take apart because you have to take everything out, right? I'm not going to take the whole thing apart. I'm just going to show you to take this thing apart. This hard drive is the one that you need to take apart. There are two screws here. Can you see it? One here and one on this side, okay? So when you unscrew this, I took the screws out. These are the screws here. I took them out and then when you pull, pull this off you had to be careful on this. To take this apart you flip this over and you just unplug it like this. These are speakers so you can take these speakers apart and these, this is the logic board. This is where the logic board st stays. You can unscrew these logic board by unplugging these out, removing these 
you see? Okay, and <clears throat> there's a screw here to take that apart. So you can just take the board out. I'm not going to go to any further. Uh, these are screws here, and these screws here, and some screws here. By taking this board, this piece out, you have to take apart all these screws. Okay, and that's it for right now. Now to put back the thing, the, the cover, okay, to this unit, you would then do this. You will first put back the hard drive, okay? Put back the hard drive, flip this hard drive over. You plug in the screws here. Then you flip this over here. Cover this up and then you would then Okay, and then the screws on these are this. Okay? It's one here and then one here. Okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put this back together. Okay? The trick of putting this back together is you have to start off with this. This needs to be flushed in with a CD-ROM, okay? So the CD-ROM, I took this a little bit apart so that this can be flushed in. Once you flush this in, the next thing you're going to do before you close everything up and snap it in, you will then plug this screw, this this piece, you need to plug it in, you need to connect that here first. And then from here, you will prepare to close this up by putting this screw back into place, right? So the unit is going to be in this way. And so you can go like this. Okay. Now before you close everything, you kind of put everything back together. Snap this in, snap that in. Just snap it down. You just push it down. That's how you snap the thing in. Then what you do is you use you use one of these. Can you see a screw on here? Can you, can you feel film here? You would then start using this one by putting this one in, in first. Okay. And then you just do just a little bit and a little bit all sides before you finalize it, okay? You kind of like go there and then so after screwing these in after them they're tight in, okay? They're tighten both sides again. Make sure you tighten both side okay after that you would go ahead and put this last piece in and you snack it down push in both corner like that you hear a snap that's done then what you do is you, there's there's four two screws one here and one here plug this one in here okay and over here, plug this one in here. There's four screw here and four screw here. You use this, you put it in here, each corner. Just gotta tighten this here. Okay. Then you gotta tighten this one here. And you're going to tighten one in here. Okay? And that's how you take this apart. And then now you can take a stand. It's ready to go. That's it.